So I've been having this question, and this is my grow tent in the garage. Now it isn't too big, it's only like, I think four and a half feet by maybe eight feet. So it's not like an incredibly large tent, but my theory is that you can grow an enormous amount of food in it with almost no, uh, no real power drain. Opening this thing up. <laughs> This is what I'm planning on working on this year. And essentially what we're doing is setting up two 108 site systems that we procured from Amazon. Kitty litter bucket as the nutrient bucket, as well as microgreens and some others. And my thought process is successfully we should make enough produce not only to feed ourselves but to sell to the public off of these two and if that doesn't work i got several more aquaponic systems in the backyard but i think we're going to really be having fun with these over the next couple of months i got butter crunch lettuce coming up really nice then down here i got tamatsu and down here I got some generic Boston bib. And I got a coffee plant that I'm kind of tinkering with. And then down here is a whole bunch of bok choy, wheatgrass. And these are all about to be filled up. Because I've been using Oasis cubes as the primary grow media. And all that seeded out for another two two racks of this system. And what we're going to be doing is measuring how much electricity we use, water we use, and about how much uh, how much we can actually grow and produce off of it. What I've done is I took these light systems or full spectrum grow lights, two foot long, and I daisy chained them down on every every side. Except for the top, and on the top I'm using these UFO ones, and the main reason I'm using them is because I already owned them and I didn't want to buy any more lights. But everything is LED, which uses a fraction of the electricity. And then on the pump system, it's a little tiny micro pump. But one thing I like about these little micro pumps is... That they have on off that is timed out so you can run it five minutes 15 minutes or 30 minutes on and then the delay between them goes between 30 60 and 120 minutes with not too much but it should prove to be an interesting experiment <laughs> 